No doubt, reading is one of the most effective self-development habits a person can build. It exposes you to so many new things, places, ideas, words, information, etc. Over and over, history has proven that people who invest in themselves by reading and learning as often as they can have higher chances of becoming successful than people who don't. Little wonder, Zig Ziglar once said that rich people have small TVs and big libraries and poor people have small libraries and big TVs. Vera Nazarian explains it this way. Whenever you read a good book, somewhere in the world, a door opens to allow in more light. Reading develops our thoughts, gives us endless knowledge and lessons to learn which keeps our minds active. It also helps your vocabulary expansion and thinking skills. Okay, maybe we understand how essential reading is to our self-development, but it's a little challenging for us to develop a daily reading habit. Guess what? In this video, I'll share with you tips to make reading part of your daily routine. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Make it the first thing in the day and the last thing at night. One of the best ways to build a reading culture is to do it first and last every day. Rahim Charania, a serial entrepreneur, said, With the craziness of our daily schedules, it can be hard to find time to read, but we all know how important it is to our success that we make reading a habit. I have found that if you allocate 15 minutes first thing in the morning and 15 minutes before bed to read, you will start your day with ideas that expand your mind and go to bed with something other than work to think about. Reading first thing in the morning works because your mind is hyper sharp and fresh. Also, you are most creative in the early hours of the day. At night also, even though you've had a stressful day, you are ready to get charged so that you wake feeling recharged and willing to take on the day's tasks with so much positivity and renewed strength. 2. Create a designated reading space So, you know how you have designated spaces for different activities of the day? For instance, when you want to get work done, you get a table or desk space dedicated to that. When you also want to get a good night's sleep, you prepare your bed to be used for nighttime activities only and not working through a super stressful work deadline. Let's think of reading as one of those activities that also requires creating a designated space to achieve your goal. So, you can invest in a reading chair that you sit on only when you plan to read. If you do this, sooner or later, the chair will become your call to action for reading. Also, unlike reading on your bed, where you most likely sleep off within minutes of reading, reading in that chair will help you stay alert and awake until you complete the day's goals. 3. Set a reading time. Remember the smart way of setting goals. S. Specific. M. Measurable. A. Achievable. R. Realistic. T. Time bound. You're probably wondering how this has anything to do with developing a reading habit. Well, it helps to set specific goals. For instance, telling yourself you want to ensure you read a book today might not be a wise decision. How about stating it clearly? What particular book do you want to read? How many pages do you plan on reading daily? How realistic is your target? When do you intend to finish reading that book? And what time of the day are you setting aside to read? If reading every day is a goal that you genuinely want to achieve, then it'd be best to set a calendar for it. Scott Baxter, a marine superintendent said, Reading is no harder to achieve than your weekly conference call if you schedule it on your calendar and take it just as seriously. I found that things that don't make it onto my calendar typically don't get accomplished. 4. Consider audiobooks. Audiobooks are great because you can easily involve them in any of your daily activities. For instance, you can listen to them when eating, waiting for someone, exercising, commuting, and even when you are working. Kylie Gogwin, an American entrepreneur, said, Consider replacing reading with audio. Things like audiobooks and podcasts are extremely efficient ways of consuming content. Next time you are commuting, working out or cleaning, turn on your favorite book. You will efficiently fill your wasted time and will be blowing through books faster than ever. 5. Put ebooks on your phone. Another great way to include reading in your daily activity is to have your books close by and make them accessible so that wherever you find yourself, you can read easily. According to Bryce Welker, a certified public accountant, you can always find time to read as long as you have reading material with you. 
And what better way to do that than through your phone? I have books on my phone that I read when I'm waiting for anything, like a new update to load on my computer. It can be hard to find time to sit down and read, but having 10 minutes of quick reading throughout the day can be a great break for the mind. Which of these reading habits are you willing to start doing to improve your reading culture? Tell us in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.